Emily in Paris, the Netflix series created by Darren Starr, recently concluded its second season, and we are now wondering if season three is in the works, which fans are certainly hoping for. The show follows Emily, a 20-something from Chicago, who relocates for a once-in-a-lifetime job opportunity. Today, we are discussing Emily in Paris season three and everything we know about the third season so far. So stay where you are. So what happened at the end of season two? Let's see. Spoiler alert. The second season, which only aired this week, is back and features a more elaborate wardrobe than ever, as well as some actual conversations in French, would you believe? Emily is finally trying to get grips with the language, which is kind of important, seeing as she has decided to relocate to the country. The second season shows many hiccups with our star trying to master the French language, but at least she's trying, right? The season finale sees Emily in somewhat of a dilemma. Will she stay in the city of love and try to make things work with Chef Gabriel, or will she pursue a relationship with Alfie, who she met in French class? This one might be a little more difficult, as initially, the relationship would have to be a long-distance one, which, as everyone knows, is pretty tricky. Emily also has to figure out her working situation. She's been offered a new job with her old company, which involves a promotion back in the States which would pretty much mean the end of her relationship with Gabriel. And the season finale gives us no indication whatsoever of what direction Emily is leaning towards. It ends with Emily on a call with her old boss, Sylvie, telling her she's made her decision, but instantly cutting to the credits. Sneaky. What do you think Emily's decision will be? Let us know below. What do we know about season three so far? So far, the streaming giant has been tight-lipped on whether or not Emily and her French escapades will be returning to our screens next year. But the way the second season ended, I think we can assume there are many things fans will want answered. So Netflix will more than likely order a third season. There's plenty of evidence to suggest this will be the case. Lily Collins, the British-American actress who plays the lead role of Emily spoke out this month about the potential third season, saying, I hope viewers find more of themselves in different characters and feel seen and represented in the show, and I hope that we get a season three, because I really hope we get to come back again and do this again. We want you to come back too, Lily. Wardrobe designer Mary Lynn Fatusi also revealed that she's been thinking in depth about potential clothing ideas for the third season. As we saw in season two, the show's wardrobe was superb, and we hope for Fatusi's sake and ours, we get to see her designs in the third season. She claimed that she wants to recycle costumes used for season one, but is unsure as to whether or not that will be an option. She revealed she wants to bring some of Lily's old stuff to life again by recycling her famed wardrobe, and we think that's a great idea. In a potential Freudian slip, Darren Starr revealed he has more material to come once we get to season three. If we get a third season, when can we expect it? Stay with us to find out. Season one dropped in the fourth quarter of 2020, appearing in early October, and the second season was with us in the same quarter this year, having only just aired on Netflix, although obviously a little later on in the quarter. Should Emily and Paris season three be given the go-ahead, we can probably expect the third installment to arrive at the very earliest around Christmas 2022, but maybe even spring 2023. Just now, though, we will have to wait for an announcement from Netflix. Netflix. So let's all cross our collective fingers and toes and hope Emily gets the go-ahead for a third season. Do you want to see a third season? What questions do we need answering should the show return next year? First up, will she stay at Savoir? Obviously, the answer to this question will determine whether or not Emily actually returns to Paris. Should she decide to team up with old boss Sylvie, that will almost certainly mean she will be returning to the States. There was drama in season two as Emily was dealt a bit of a blow after designer Pierre Cadeau decided to leave Savoir after the fashion show didn't go as planned. Her three colleagues then quit the firm to open up their own 
own shop, and Emily was given the option to stay at Savoir or join her friends and former colleagues. Surely if she was to stay at Savoir and the Gilbert Group, she would be in line for an exciting new promotion, right? And we know that she has made her decision. Hopefully it's the right one. Which company do you think would best suit her career prospects? Let us know below. Next, what about her love life? As we know from season two, Emily is smack bang in the middle of a love triangle. Actually, it could maybe even be described as a love square, as Gabriel is currently involved with both Emily and Camille. Come on, Gabriel, let's have a decision, please. Saying that, Emily is in the same situation. She seemed to have chosen Alfie, but at the end of the season, we saw her have a last minute change of heart, telling Gabriel exactly how she felt. Emily then realizes that Camille is currently the apple of Gabriel's eye to her dismay. Didn't the pair both promise not to get with Gabriel? Sneaky. Maybe a new girl for Gabriel in season three just to spice things up even further? What do you guys think about that? Let us know in the comments. And what about Sylvie and her husband? Stay tuned to find out. There was a bit of a twist in the show as it was revealed that Sylvie is actually married. Emily randomly comes across her beau down in St. Tropez and fans were shocked to find out that Sylvie has been married for a whopping 20 years. Insane. It seems as though the pair aren't particularly bothered about having an open marriage as we saw Sylvie and Eric hit it off on the previous season. What will a potential season three have in store for this storyline? Will we see the Sylvie and Laurent storyline develop, or will Sylvie and Eric get together? What do you guys think? Next up, we're discussing Lily Collins' salary and net worth. Collins, who last year announced her engagement to American film writer and director Chris McDowell, was married this September in Colorado, USA. She has a pretty deep resume for a relatively young woman and made her breakthrough back in 2009, appearing in the sports movie The Blind Side. Since then, she has gone from strength to strength. One of her most compelling roles was that of Liz Kendall in the Ted Bundy serial killer story, Extremely Wicked, Shockingly Evil and Vile. She plays the role of Bundy's girlfriend opposite Zac Efron, which garnered mixed or average reviews. She's also appeared in a ton of other roles. What have you seen Lillian? Let us know below. Having appeared in so many shows and movies so far, she's amassed quite the fortune, and it has been estimated that Lily has received around $3 million per each 10-episode season of Emily in Paris. So it's not really shocking to know that she's eager to do another season, right? Right? It has also been estimated that Collins' net worth currently stands at around $25 million due to her more than decade-long career. She's also known to have endorsements with luxury brands such as Cartier the Jeweler. As well as her acting career and endorsements, she's also quite the entrepreneur and has a decent property portfolio and recently finalized the sale of her 5,000-square-foot Beverly Hills mansion for more than $13 million. Pretty nice. Next up, a show collaboration to sink our teeth into. Ever found yourself admiring the wardrobe on our favorite Lily Collins show? Emily's fashion sense, especially in season one, can only be described as uh, unique. Season two sees her pick her fashion game up and integrate slightly better into Parisian fashion culture. Darren Starr recently said of her fashion sense, Emily's fashion sense is unapologetic and original with a sense of humor. She's only interested in being herself and maintaining her individuality. Show bosses recently revealed the show's first official collaboration with a company called My Beachy Side. Their collection was seemingly perfect for season two of the show and apparently it captures the relaxed glamour and joie de vie of the south of France. According to Star, the collaboration was an obvious one for the owner of the company, Gamze Ades, who said, The show is all about women's empowerment in a comedic way, so it felt like a good connection right away. What do you guys think about the wardrobe choices in Emily in Paris? Will you be checking out my beachy side? Let us know below and send us links to your favorite outfits of theirs. As always, Thanks for tuning in today, and remember to swing by next time for some more fun reveals. Why not share this video with your Emily and Paris fan friends? Bye, guys!